Mr. Truck here, up here by the Moffat Tunnel, the east entrance, which is Rollins Pass, the east side. We just went up Rollins Pass. You know, it's pretty deep snow. The snowmobiles are up here having a good time. The cross-country skiers are up here. And we are up here testing out these Cooper AT3s, these Discoverers. We've had them now for about six months, put about 10,000 miles on them. And they've done great for us in sand and rocks and mud. And now we're in the snow seeing how well they do. And they've done great. I like the traction of them. We've had no problems with these tires. It's got enough grip to get us wherever we're going. We do, we do have a four-wheel drive truck, and it's helping, of course. But no, we've had no problems with them, no problems with the uneven wear. And we're going to keep testing these trucks out, see how they do for a long term. But these do have a limited warranty of 55,000 miles. So we'll see how well they go and go and go. Cody Christian makes your trailer smoother ride isolates between the truck and the trailer so your trailer doesn't fill the truck the truck doesn't fill the trailer your horses have a better ride your cargo has a better ride you have a better ride in the truck I right, keep testing these tires so far so good and have not had any problems with them great traction even in the snow and we've climbed a few rocks with them too. I do like the traction properties and they're quiet. I know you can get some really rugged off-road tires that'll whine the whole time. These have no noise and you're going down the road. But join us as we progress. I, today's project, MrTruck.com, is looking at trailer locks. And we're starting out with a gander lock. This here is basically a stem of your gooseneck trailer. You see the set bolt. And this gander lock, the best protection there is for a gooseneck trailer. You slide your stem out, stick in the hole. Okay, this is gander lock. This plug goes into your gooseneck. You take your coupler stem out, you slide this in, and you lock it, and these pegs go in each side. That's what holds it in place. So now nobody can just back up to your trailer and take off. This is gander lock. They make square ones and they make round ones. I really like these. Now here is the big Titan grip wheel lock. This has the combination lock which I really like so I can have some of my associates always be able to unlock a trailer when I'm not here. I really like that. But that's what that looks like. This will fit all your big tires. We're going to use this one a lot. Here is one on a 19.5 wheel. Fits perfect. On this fancy trailer. This is a combination lock. But yeah, this is... I love these locks. You know, stealing trailers is a pretty big occupation for a lot of folks. Some may take them down to Juarez, Mexico, or they could take them to Arkansas or Missouri and just have them retitled as homemade. But the big thing is, you know, is to slow people down trying to steal your traders. Because eventually they get enough tools, they will get every kind of lock made, disintegrated, picked, broken, whatever. So the main thing to do is get enough stains on your traders so they'll go away from your trader and go on to the next guy. Kind of like uh, having a bear chasing. You got to be faster than the guy next to you. But anyway, that's how I look at it. Okay, Chuck, show us how that fits on there. 
what this is is the tire or the wheel lock and the lug nuts lock so you're really going to protect your trailer with this from Titan so cool how that's going to work when we put it on the trailer yes indeedy this round plate is a lug nut protector so nobody can steal it by taking the lug nuts off and this bolt here holds it from the inside good job this is the titan grip wheel lock this one is actually has the optional lug nut cover so they can't just un unscrew the wheel and these are high these are high carbon steel so it's a lot harder to saw through these stainless steel steel locking cylinders and drill resistant the key and combination on all their wheel locks these titan grips are weather resistant now i like this type of a you know way to protect your trailer because people have to get this off your wheel to take off with your trailer Titan grip it has the rubber coating on the end so you don't scratch those aluminum wheels which is really good he's a high capacity go what clear up to a 14 inch wide tire with these here's the other titan grip this is a smaller one but it has this cover for the lug nuts so that people can't you know undo the wheel and take off of the trailer so this actually is a double protection which is very good this is the smaller one it goes clear around your wheel and locks in place and this has a key lock on it great protection on these expensive trailers we're gonna lock them all up now the next trader product, this is all about having your trader stolen, theft. You know, all these white traders, most traders are white, so they'll end up in Juarez or someplace. So you want to be able to lock things up. And I've got six test traders in my yard, so I have all kinds of locking devices. The next one I'm talking about here uh, is from Bolt. Now this is their padlock. This, you use your ignition key in the end of it, so you set it once, it knows what your key looks like, and then you're done. As long as you don't trade your truck off right away because you need that ignition key I made that mistake where I actually traded the truck off after four or five years and now I'm just starting over with this product but bolt I got a padlock I use on my spare tire this is my favorite this is a cable lock I've got three of these when we're off in the hills playing with our ATVs we lock all the ATVs at night with these we hook them all together through their luggage racks through the racks that's on the ATVs works very well I used to use my ignition key which that way I have just one key and was with me anyway with the truck and I lock all this stuff off now the next one we're going to look at here is the bolt coupler lock I'll show you how that works it goes on your bully dog coupler whatever coupler you have on your trailer and locks the same way with your ignition key okay here's the newest product from bolt this is a coupler lock we're going to try it on this bulldog lock on this new Cimarron trailer we got from Transwest so it has two different pieces okay it has two half balls that column and they're interchangeable so whatever size your coupler is this coupler is two and five sixteenths so we're using a two and five sixteenths half ball there and then you'll see as I go down I'll hook it up to the coupler so I'm sticking it on sticking on the coupler and then I'm actually going to close the coupler maybe I can do that There. Now it's on the coupler. And then all I have to do is stick this horseshoe piece in there, clamping it down. And then I use the pin to go through the horseshoe and the actual lock itself. And I shove it through the pin. So this is this is the lock. This is, I paired this to my ignition key on my new truck. So now I just push this in there. It has the ignition key in it, and I just push it over. It's got a rubber cap to keep it all dry, and now I'm locked. Now hopefully I have the right key to unlock this. This is my ignition key. There, I twisted it. You saw me twist it. That's all you have to do to get it off. 